Hey guys, it's BLTX, and welcome to a new Nintendo video. In today's video, we're going to be continuing my road, if you want to call it that, of continuing and improving my old videos. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some censored mother sprites. Sprites that were changed when being brought from Japan over to the West. Now, unfortunately for us Westerners, we unfortunately never got Lucas, the yellow-haired boy from the Nowhere Islands who went on an incredible journey. If you haven't played Mother 3 yet, do it. But, unfortunately, we never got him, so I, so I really can't talk about anything official. It's all from that game. But, in the meantime, we'll have to stick with Earthbound and Earthbound Zero. And speaking of which, that's where we're going to be starting out. Earthbound Zero with the sprite of the Spiteful Crow. Now, take a look at this sprite. I, this is the Japanese one. Take a look at his wing. What is that? A cigar. A cigar in a children's game. Now, obviously, this would not be considered child appropriate, so when bringing the sprite over to the West, they changed it for obvious reasons. But personally, I don't think they should have removed... I, don't, I mean, I do think they should have removed it, just not entirely. What I think they should have done is changed it. Because if we're to assume that this is a spiteful crow... I don't think the word spiteful has anything to do with it, but... Assuming he's holding a cigar, maybe he's holding a drink as well. Let's give him a pool cue. Mm, I guess that... Pop a pool cue in that wing. Make him a... Billiard... <laughs> a billiard playing crow. That could be kind of cool. Coming up next, we have Earthbound. This is an interesting one. Not a... Not an age appropriate... Not an age appropriate or, um... Straight up... Inappropriate one. But we have... But we have this one. Now, if you've played all the way through Earthbound, or maybe you've made a group through, uh, Great Group Falls... Uh, you've probably seen this. The, um, iron pencil statue that you need the pencil eraser to get rid of. However, obviously, in Japan, this isn't what we got. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on this list. Because in Japan, it's actually an octopus. And that isn't it. Later on in the game, spoiler alert, later on in the game, um, we get another iron statue, but this time of an iron eraser. Like... Which makes sense, and first an iron pencil, and then an iron eraser, it makes enough sense. But then Japan, instead of a... You might you might have think, oh, they have an iron octopus, maybe they get an iron squid in there too. No, it's an iron doll. Now the reason for this is actually pretty funny. In Japan, the word for doll is kokeshi, and the word for eraser is keshi. Sound very similar. So when you get a dollar eraser, you get the Kokeshi Keshi. Pretty cool. The next two we have are also from Earthbound, and they're also... Offensive, if you want to call them that. I don't know if the last one will be offensive or not. Look at it however you will, but first of all, we have the Happy Happiest. Now, if you don't know, the Happy Happiest are a cult in Earthbound that love the color blue, and are just people who are happy being happy. So what might you assume their uh, cult wearing attire is? Maybe a smiley face, you know, maybe some nice yellow attire. You know, something cool. Yeah, I can picture it now. A blue Santa mask, mask with the eye holes cut out. A blue robe with long blue sleeves, black shoes, covers the whole skin. And the best of all, an HH on the hat. Oh man, that's... Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, I can't see it. Yeah, that's not the... Uh, not offensive at all. Uh, I'm being sarcastic, of course. It's this one is pretty offensive if you want to look at it, look at it that way. Personally, I mean, personally, I don't look at it offensive. I just think it's really, really, really strange. Strange and strange. But in the English game, and they remove the HH and add a Santa poof all on the top. Though personally, I still can't see past the resemblance of the KKK. Like. The first time I saw Sprite, I thought, why do they look like the KKK? Because I thought it looked really, really strange, but I, I don't know. I just can't see past the resemblance. It's, it's just weird to me. And finally, at last, this for mature audience is only from here on out. out. I don't want to hear any laughing out there, but we have Ness. This kid. This 13-year-old kid. Naked. Why? Well, 
take a look at this. So this is Ness's Japanese sprite in Magikint. Now you might think that's really, really, really strange. Some might think it's funny, th some might find it offensive, some might think it's strange. Some might find it inappropriate, but personally, I find it strange and really weird. I feel like that, I feel that way for all of these, but it is! It is really strange and really weird. And you might be wondering, Japan, why? Well, the reason for this is because in Japan, nudity is actually more of a kind of purity and innocence, which does well, which does describe magic in well, but... Obviously, this fight would never fly over in the States, so... So, when S is in Magic and for us, they just put him back in his pajama sprite. And in fact, it's actually the only sprite that got removed uh, from Ness when it was brought over to the States. It's because Ness has a lot of sprites in this game, and this is the only, only one that got removed when it was brought over to the States. States, so... I, so, I do wonder if it's still in the game's files? I don't know. I don't know, if you're a ROM hacker, or if you're a ROM hacker, or a data miner, and or maybe you could explore the sprite, maybe you could explore through the sprites of the English game, see if you can find this, and uh, let me know. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, you can hit subscribe to know when my new videos come out. Be sure to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And, yeah, you can, uh, do all that. Or not. I mean, it's... It's your choice in the end. What? You don't want to do it? Fine! I'm out of here! Just...